Definitely don't see this on the main road. <laughs> what the hell is it? Oh man. See, flying cars do exist, you know? You just gotta go to the back roads to see them. Hey, welcome back, man. Just made some coffee. This is my spot from last night. It's not bad. There's actually a rest area, maybe two miles down the street, but it's more like a mobile home park. There's just people <laughs> in cars just sleeping midday. And I'm like, eh, there's no room either. And I kind of get kind of claustrophobic. I actually like hearing all these trucks. It's nice. It's kind of relaxing. I found this fire extinguisher. <laughs> Still got some stuff in it. How, uh, ooh, how was Valentine's Day? Uh, me, personally, I found the flu on Tinder and she took me out for a date. She gave herself to me. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this adventure. Down to Oroville and into the national park over there. It's actually a town so small that it can't support a school anymore, so the school closed down. So we're really talking California hillbillies. Really nice people. Don't judge a book by its cover. But still listen to the conversation. And I don't really get to see too many railroad bridges. Uh, I guess that's not even a bridge. Kind of just railroad tracks on stilts. I don't know. It looks like these must be tour trains or something. You see that? How uh, it's just open? That guy right there. See him? He's picking through garbages. That takes a lot of balls. At least it would for me. I mean, you really cannot care about what people think of you. Props to him, you know? Yeah, we're out here. Apple country. I think it's apples. I think it's apples. JF Farms. Old school. Really had to check out that little small town because you, you only live once, dude. You know. <laughs> Guess everyone's just out there living their life. They only live it once. This ain't no video game. But I, I guess it can be. Just make it what you like. I think that's an empty one. He's going back for more apples. I don't know why they don't cover it. I mean, it's good for us, right? A hard wing could come by and feed the homeless for a month. How about them apples? <laughs> yeah, it's, I think that's the only time you can use that reference and it could be funny. Proud to bring it to you. campsite for last night. Nothing too spectacular. You know, but just a nice place to get away from it all. Somewhere in California. I think Orville. Yeah, you know, it was basically that thing I, I said before. Find a national forest. There will be campsites. Or at least pull-offs. I got here when I can actually see the pull-off, so I think that's the key. Yeah. Ooh. Hi, I just wanted to check out your art over here. <laughs> Hi! History here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And this, inside of this house, is a museum. Yeah? Of these days, those days. Yeah. yeah. And Orville days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything old, yeah. I like. Yeah. Well, that's when you look in a mirror every morning, right? So you're, <laughs> you're up and you're not starting to love yourself. Yeah. My animals and so on, go for it. This is a wood stove right here we got from Forbes Town. Okay. There was a hundred acre wheat ranch over there before the pine trees got tall. Mm -hmm. Me and him scrapped that and brought it over. That's a Miller Matic wood stove. I grew up, mama cooked on one of those. Oh, cool. Yeah. Feather Falls is the world's largest, or uh, what is it? It's the... 620 feet. Yeah, it's the world's largest falls. If you go up this way, you'll see Feather Falls Trailhead, and then it's a four-mile hike in there. Okay. And it's a nice trail, and there's a campground at the bottom. Hmm. And it's like a, what, 
two hour or three hour hike for you probably. It's not the world. No. It's the largest, the highest in the United States. Well, cut off my leg and call me Shorty. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Where's my machete? <laughs> anyway, welcome to California. Thank you. Anyway, feel free to take pictures, brother. All right. His, his brother and him built all this stuff. There's a dinosaur out of scrap, a turkey, and a goat. You notice the goat, all, goat's head is an old bicycle seat. All made out of junk that people were going to throw away. <clears throat> I got in mind to make a cow next. Yeah? Then I want to make my Martian guy. <laughs> got to make your mark. Everybody plays, every place needs an alien. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or something. Oh, yeah. Attract attention, you know. He got pigs he makes out of five gallon propane tanks. Mm -hmm. That are phenomenal for 25 bucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. In the 1800s, trappers would come in and they would trap because everybody wanted a, in England, wanted a beaver hat, you know, made out of beaver, top hat. So yeah. they'd come out here and trap it. The heyday of trapping was from 1820 to 1840. Yeah. Big By money. 1840, it was falling off. Well, it was big money, but they might have got two dollars a, a felt, mm -hmm. you know, for the beaver felt. Yeah, but you're waiting in ice cold water, setting traps in the winter. Yeah, snow. Two dollars back deep. then would last you a month. You could live on two dollars worth of food back then. Yeah, it only cost you a nickel for a beer. Yeah, and now Blueberry, a friend of ours, just moved back to Arkansas because Wendy's quit selling them dollar chicken sandwiches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh. Well, I remember, I remember when gas was twenty three point nine a gallon. A gallon, yeah. Twenty three cents. cents. Yeah. Twenty four, yeah. Life is what you make of it. You have good times. You have bad times. Don't let the bad times sour you on life. Mm. If it wasn't for the bad times. You wouldn't know how damn good the good times really feel. Almost. My dad had a little mill that got me started in woodworking and yeah. so on. We saw a lot of the survey stakes and stuff that was used when they put in the dam up here. Mm. Yeah. I just continued along that line working in cutstock mills. Hmm. Done all right, all things considered, because yeah. it was something I enjoyed doing. Mm -hmm. I like working with wood. Uh, the last place I worked at, I spent 25 years there making what we call perfect plank, okay. which is buying low-grade lumber, cutting all the defects out, and finger jointing it together for pattern stock. Because everything made out of metal is first whittled out of wood. Mm. And they use that to make the molds to make everything. Okay. General Motors was our biggest buyer. Still is. Hmm. I could have went to work a couple of other places and made more money. But I wouldn't have been as happy. So when you decide whatever it is you want to do, pick out something you like to do. Don't worry about the money. You make a living, you're doing okay. Eleventh the next month, I will have been retired 16 years. I never thought I'd hang around this long. But then you never know. The good Lord's got it figured out. And when it's my turn, I'll fly away. Mm. And in the meantime, I'm going to do my best to enjoy every day I get. Amen. <laughs> it's good to meet you. Been a pleasure to visit with you.
Right. Now I can tell everybody, I got a friend in New York. <laughs> <laughs> I got a friend in California. You, you betcha. You have a good one. Maybe I'm around here. Again, I'll, I'll stop well, by. Stop by and have something cold to drink. All right. Maybe I'll even have a, a plate of food ready. Oh, <laughs> don't go too far now. <laughs> I might have to come by faster. <laughs> uh, well, do something for me. Sure. Drive careful and be careful. Okay. And come back. I almost forgot SpongeBob and this reindeer. I just saw him chilling over here. See? Up here. In the high mountains. People are still good. Don't judge a book by its cover. What's up, go? Yeah, this is past done. All out, Sean. I'm all out. All out. Is there a donkey back there? <laughs>